We continue now at the top of Daphnon Tesla and Bezim Asachas Erevin. This is Erevin Daf 59b. We're in the middle of a Bryce, and now the Bryce is talking about a city that always belonged to the public. But it only has one entrance, Rashi says. This city, it's not open. The streets do not open on both sides. So it's not similar to the way they traveled in the Midbor. So in that case, the Brisa says, Again, you can make an Erev into the entire city. So first the Gemara asks, Who is this Tana that allows you to make an Erev in Rosh Hashanah? Rav Huna, the son of Rav Yoshua, says, Rav Yehuda, it's the Tana Rav Yehuda. The Tanya we learned in a Brisa, Yes, sir, I'll okay, Rabbi Yehuda. Further than this, Rabbi Yehuda says, Misha Yeshalo Shnei Botim, Vishnei Tzidei Rishas If somebody has two houses on two sides of Rishas Arabim, Osa Lechi Mikan, Velechi Mikan, a person can put a Lechi on each side, O Korah Mikan, Vekor Mikan, or Korah on this side and a Korah on that side, Venose, Venose, and Beemsen, he can carry in this area even though it's Rishas Arabim. Amru Lo, they responded to him, Ein Ma'arvin Rishas Arabim Bekach. You're not allowed to make an Erev in Rishas Arabim in this fashion. Amar Mar, the master said again, we said in the Bryce of Ein Ma'arvin Osol Lechatsoyin. You're not allowed to make an Erev for this area uh, halfway. You can't make only half the city an Erev. Amar Papa Rapapa says, Lo Amru Elo Laarcha. This is only true along the length of the city. We'll see a picture of this in a moment. Avo Lerachva Ma'arvin. But along the width, it would not be a problem. Rashi over here explains, El Laarcha. Derech Ayaros Lios Pischei Pilushei in Laarcham. In, uh, in most cities, the, the entryway, the open part of the street, is along the length. The Rosh Hashanah goes from one opening to the other opening. In other words, uh, both sides of the Rosh Hashanah are open. The Chalukah L'Archah, it's divided along its length. Hilkach, therefore, Ein B'nei Ever Haloz Rashoin L'Ariv Levadan. The people on one side are not allowed to make an error for themselves. Let's say the, the Rosh Hashanah runs north to south. All the people on the east can't make their own Eruv. And then all the people on the west, their own Eruv. Because what happens is, both sides use the Rosh Hashanah. And then they, they come in and out through the openings that are in that Rosh Hashanah in all directions. In other words, the Rosh Hashanah really connects the people on the east and the west. They all answer one another. So they can't make separate Eruvs. They need to join together. But along the width, meaning, let's say you have two uh, two alleyways that are sort of connected through the Rosh Hashanah, right? you're dividing it along width side. So every alley, every full alley, so to speak, is making its own Erev. So then, that's okay. Because they can separate from one another. They can say, look, I don't normally travel into that Mavoy. Everyone can choose their own door and everyone can be connected with their own little unit for Shabbos. That's not a problem. And right over here, you can see the picture in the diagram. This is the Rosh Hashanah going through the middle and the Rosh Hashanah is basically cutting between. That's considered a full alley. This one's considered a full alley. This is a full alley. All these are connected because they connect through the Rosh Hashanah. So what it's saying is, the, this side, let's say over here, cannot make its own Erev disconnected from this side. They can't disconnect because the people here are considered to, to go together with the people over here. They're connected through the Rosh Hashanah. However, let's say you would want to cut it across the width. So you want to cut it over here and say everyone from this line and above is going to make an Erev and everyone from this line and below is going to make an Erev. That would be okay because then these Mavoos over here are all connected through Rosh Hashanah and these Mavoos on top are connected through, through Rosh Hashanah. So if you want to do it through the width, that's not a problem. But uh, if you're going to cut it along the length, that already will be a problem. So now that the Gemara said that along the width you can divide up the city and make separate Erevs, the, the Gemara says, This seems not like Rabbi Akiva. Because if we follow Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva says, If let's say within a Chatzar they made an Erev and they can carry within their own Chatzar, still Oseres, that Chatzar can still Aser some other Chatzar. So too over here, the people who are separating along the width, let's say in the northern side of the city, they should ask the, the southern side of the city. Rashi explains what the case of Rabbi Akiva was. Uh, the case is you have two chatseros, one inside the other, one one meaning behind the other. The the outer one, opens up into Rosh Hashanah. The the inner chatser cannot get to Rosh Hashanah. It's got to go through the chitzona. So you basically have a situation where the people who live in the inner inner chatser cannot get to Rosh Hashanah without going through the chitzona. And uh, 
Obviously, in a situation where the people on the inside didn't even make an Eruv. So in that case, to have a regular Asur B'Makomet, they can't even walk in their own Chatzar, carry in their own Chatzar. The Asra Drisas are regular to do Certainly, then the fact that they walk through the outer one and they didn't join the Eruv of the outer one, they Asra the outer one, the outer one has a problem then. I feel a Rabbanan. That's true even according to the Rabbanan. To cave the Chatzar Gufayu Asri, since they're a problem in their own Chatzar, Lekal Mechfinu Lemecha Dosha did Huvi Yimchlu Al Drisas are regular. You can't say, okay, they're, they're going to give up the fact that they walk through the outer. They'll pretend for Shabbos that they don't use that. She Lan al that they generally use. Ella, afilu ir vuzuli asma vuzula asma. The chiddush of Rabbi Kiva is even if the inner one makes its own eruv, to have a panimus muteris b'makoma, the people on the inside can carry around within their chutzur just fine. Polig Rabbi Kiva, but Omer still Rabbi Kiva argues and says Teresa saregel dida. The fact that the people on the inside they walk through the outside asra chitzona. It makes the chitzona problem or panimus muteris, and the inner one actually remains mutter. The chitzona asur. The chitzona is asur. Vachanami nitzru adadi. So too over here, the if you're going to separate this city along its width. Why don't we say very nice, but the north sh- should still uh, Aser on the south. According to Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva goes so far as to say that the inner Chatzar Aser's the outer Chatzar, even when the inner Chatzar on its own is totally fine. So the Gemara says you can't compare the two cases. Afilu Tamer Rabbi Akiva. You could even say that uh, that this Brisa follows Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Papa follows Rabbi Akiva. Adkan lo kamer Rabbi Akiva hasam ela b'shtei chatzeros zu lifnim mizu. Rabbi Akiva was strict only when you have two chatzeros. One is inside of the other, meaning one is behind the other. To penim is less la pischa achrina because there the inner chutzer has no other a- entrance or exit. It only, in order to get to the Rosh Hashanah, it must go through the Chitzona. But over here, when you divide a city along its width, so what's the big deal? You're going to divide it, and everybody in the north, they're going to use their own entrances to Rosh Hashanah, and everyone in the southern part will use their own entrances. There's no problem, there's no issue. Ika Diamri, some have a slightly different version of this discussion. Amr Rapapa, the Rapapa said, Lo temo lo archahu de loma arvin, avo lo rachma lo rachvam arvin. The opposite. Don't say that it's only a problem lengthwise, but widthwise it's okay. El afilu lo rachva nami lo ma arvin. Even along the width, you're not allowed to divide up the city. So according to this understanding, Rapapa prohibits dividing the city in any direction. So then the Gemara says, Keman ke Rebbe Akiva. Who does that follow? Does that follow Rebbe Akiva, who's strict in the situation of the two chatzeros, one on the inside, one on the outside? Side, the Gemara says, Afilu Tamer Abbana. No, Rapapa may even be following the Rabbana. Arkan Lokam Rabbana Hosam, El Beshte Chazero Zulif Nimizu. The Rabbana are only lenient by two Chazeros, one inside the other, De Pnimis Achdola Dosha Umishtamsha, which Rashi says means, De Kavan de Mutaras Bimakoma. Look, since the Pnimis has its own, it's its own Chazer and its Mutter in its own area, Kagon Zu Kofen Al Midastom. In that situation, we say, Don't be like, don't be like Stom, Shalo Yehei Lo Hayom, Dries Hasaregal Alachitzon. Today, don't walk through the Chitzona. You have a door there anyway. Close the door and use your own area. Basically, they are two clearly separate areas. And we can just say, for, for Shabbos, don't, uh, don't tread through the outside. That's not your area. But over here, you can't remove a Rosh which Rashi explains to mean, Here, the Rosh is one Rosh Everyone shares a Rosh Hashanah. There is no division there. There's no wall of any kind. It all seems to be shared. You can't say, okay, we're going to like, so to speak, close off your area and just use yours b'mekom in your own place. There's no real way to remove the different residents of the different mavos from one another. They all clearly share one Rosh Hashanah, and therefore it's going to be a, a problem to divide up the city. No matter how you divide it, it's going to be a problem. Omar Mar, the master said, "Okula omavoi mavoi bifneatzmo." Again, the brisa, the uh, brisa said, "You can do the entire thing, make an eruv, or you have to do every mavoi independently." So the Gemara asks, "Maishna de lechatzoyin de lo de asri adadi." What is the difference that you can't divide the city in half because we say the residents from one aser on the others? They're all kind of using the sharing the same rishos aravim. Mavoi mavoi nami asri adadi. If you're going to do it independently, the the mavois also should aser on one another. Rashi over here says, "Mavoi nami." This city, again, was originally belonged to a yachid. You made the whole thing in Erev. It's regular, it's a custom for them to be like one. Like we said before, they should ask for one another. Even a lachir or a korah should not help. You should not be able to make independent Erevin. So the Gemara answers, 
And here, what are we talking about? Rashi explains what's Daka. It's like a low doorway at the at the entrance of every Mavoy. And that already shows that they're separating from one another and it's not going to be a problem. It's like that which Ravidi Baravan said in the name of Rav Chista. If one of the Mavoys makes again this kind of an entrance for his. Uh, for uh, this kind of doorway for his entrance, then he's not going to ask on the rest of the Mavoy. So in this case as well, that Daka is going to allow things. And the Gemara now continues that the two dots quoting the Brisa, the Brisa had said that if it was a public city all along, but but the Rishus Haravim is blocked off on one side, so it's not totally open on both sides, then also you can be Ma'ari of the entire city. You don't need to leave off a remnant like we find in our Mishnah. So Rabbi Zeira Arva Lamasa Dvei Rabbi Chia, the Gemara here's a story. Reb Zeira made an Eruv for the city of Reb Shavak Lashir. He did not leave over any, any remnant. He was Ma'ariv the entire city. Amar Le Abaya. So Abaya said to Reb Zeira, my time of Marhachi, why did the master do this? Amar Le, so he said to him, Savi Dido Amri, he said, the elders of the city told me, Reb Chia Barasi Ma'ariv Kula, that Reb Chia Barasi, he used to make an Eruv in the entire city. Ve'amina, so I said to myself, Shmami no ir shal yachid v'nasa shal ravmi. You see from this that this was actually originally a private city, more like our Mishnah, where it was a private city that became a city that was used by the public in such a situation. Mishnah said, you can be Ma'ariv the whole thing. Amar Le, so he said back to him, Lididi Amru li Hanu Savi, but ma, the elders told me, that actually it wasn't because it was a private city. It was that there used to be a garbage heap on one side of the city, so there was no opening on one of the sides of the Rishus Ravim. But now that that garbage has been removed, it's like a Rishus Ravim with openings on both sides, and it should be a problem. So he responded to him, I wasn't aware of that, and indeed if that is the case, you are correct. We cannot make an Erev in the entire city. And the Gemara continues, Boy Mine, Rav Ami Bar Ada Harpano, Me Rabba, Rav Ami Bar Ada Harpano, asks Rabba the following question, Sulam Mikan, Pesach Mikan, what if you have a situation where on one side there's a regular opening by the Rishas Rabb, on the other side there's a wall, but you can get over the wall because there's a ladder? Ma, what's the Allah? Is that considered open on both sides that we would be strict? Amar Lei said back to him, Hachi Amar Rav, so says Rav, Sulam Toras Pesach Olav. Sulam, uh, the ladder, the Sulam actually counts as a doorway and it is going to be a problem. It's going to be open on both sides. It's going to be considered uh, a, an opening, even Luchumra. So Amar Luhur of Nachman, Rav Nachman said to them, Lo Satsitzule, don't listen to him. Hachi Amar Ravad Amar Rav, so says Ravad in the name of Rav, Sulam Toras Pesach Olav, Vitoras Mechitz Olav. A Sulam has both status. It's a status of an opening, a doorway, and it also has a status of a Mechitz. Toras it would actually be considered a mechitza, like in the case that you had, meaning we're going to be lenient in that case and say that uh, the wall is considered a mechitza. It's not considered open. It's a rishus ram that's not open on both sides. Now, where is it considered a pesach? Torah's pesach all of it's considered a pesach. Besulam shebein shtei chatzeros. Let's say you have a situation of a ladder that connects two chatzeros. So you have a wall between two chatzeros and you have a ladder between them. In that case, we apply it as a as a kula, as a leniency. Ratzu echar marav, ratzu shnai marav, and if they want, they can make an Arab together. If they want, they can make it separately. Gamar now asks, is that, is that really true? Umi Yomar of Nachman Hochi, did Rav Nachman really say this? Meaning Rashi says, Umi Yomar of Nachman Hochi, the Torah's Mechitza all of Lakula, does he really say that it can be considered a Mechitza Lakula? The Omar of Nachman Amar Shmuel, but Rav Nachman said in the name of Shmuel, Anshe Chatzer, if you have people who live in a Chatzer, the Anshe Mar Pesas, and then people who live above, like on a, on a porch, that they forget, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Samech Amad Aleph.